So now all I have left is stuff underneath the two nuts that hold the engine by uh, what do you call the engine mounts and the exhaust. But the exhaust is leaky anyway, so uh, but it is disconnected right over here at the downpipe. So right now it's full of oil and coolant, and I hope everything is in. I'm not forgetting anything. I'm gonna crank it because it's been sitting without oil for a while. Then you know it's dry. The crank sensor is not connected right over here. Okay, this is the gun, so it it will not start. All right, let's see what it sounds like. I don't know if you heard it. Well, overall, it sounds pretty good, like it's on, you know, on time. Uh, but just four seconds before I stopped cranking, it started cranking a tiny bit faster. I don't know if you heard that or not. Noticed? That's how long it took for oil to uh, build up. So that was the whole reason for that. So now it's pressurized, it's safe to connect the crank sensor Whoa. what's that? okay I am forgetting something, look at this the uh, PCB lines the intake it's one and here is numero dos okay, now it's fully complete well besides the bottom so I am gonna bolt it down on the bottom the two mounts because it was uh, kind of shaky and uh, we're gonna start it all right exhaust is in for all the dump pipe the engine mounts are tight it's good to go no no it's not Obviously, I'm forgetting something, as always. And it's this. Always something. Now, all right, let's start it. After a month and a half, I think. burning off from the headers check out this exhaust work nice no check engine remember we had a check engine light before Besides that one leak, so far so good, just shit, a lot of smoke. I'm gonna evacuate a little bit.